so <laughs> I'm gonna try talking to the camera, I guess, and see what I can do here. Um, I, uh, oh, my classes are broken, but you know, they're still functional for in the studio here. Um, I have pairs stashed everywhere, so there's that. But, um, so I'm working on a sculpture right now, a commission piece for someone. And um, this is like the fourth time that I've <laughs> started it. And uh, this looks like maybe four times the charm. We'll see. This is the furthest I've gotten in it, with it for sure. Um, I would show, I, I'll show a picture at the end, I guess, because uh, it's not finished and I don't know how the client would feel about me um, sharing it before she saw it. So I don't want to do that. But, you know, I'm just going to kind of talk about being an artist and being, trying to do these kinds of things. And I'm, I'm not even sure where I'm headed with this. This is like my first sort of go at whatever um, with this kind of thing. And my thoughts are to kind of just talk about my process, talk about challenges, talk about good things, bad things, whatever hap is happening going on. Um, it's a it's a weird uh, vocation in a way to be an artist because you you um, you you're putting everything oh, oh that was a big hand <laughs> putting things out there putting your your thoughts and your emotions and your feelings out there in your work in the hopes that it resonates with other people and that really truly is the hope is that when it's something that you're making that you're feeling you're thinking you're creating that somehow somebody else is picking up what you're putting down and um it's a strange sort of thing to be doing i guess and uh, one that you know people have a hard time thinking you can make a living at and I'm by no means making a living at this. I am trying to, but it's not easy. And so, you know, I'm doing the best I can with it. But, um, so, I'm not even sure where I'm at with this. But, um, I just kind of thought I would try experimenting a little bit with, with creating some video, putting myself on video, which is a difficult thing in and of itself, just because really not a fan of the way I look on screen, uh, pictures, photos, whatever. So video is even weirder. Um, I don't know. We'll uh, see where this goes. Um, I was thinking that I was going to talk more about some specific work that I'm doing, but right now in the studio, the only thing I'm working on is this sculpture because I really have let it slide too long and um, not slide I shouldn't say that because that sounds like I haven't been working on it I have I've been working on it quite a bit but like I said this is the fourth attempt at it and so it's kind of it's just gotten the better of me quite a bit and so I'm trying to um, get a handle on why I'm having so much trouble with it um, what I need to do differently learning from those experiences because let me tell you there have been some serious learning experiences like just modeling this head for it. I can show you that because it's not what's in the thing but so this is like my I've got one on there so this is like the you know, different size I've made one this is the first one and um eh, ugh, didn't like it second one even worse third one I've been modeling since on top of it but it's you know just as bad the one that I finally did that worked out it's it's still not exactly perfect but it it's gonna be okay because there's gonna be armor and some stuff going on um, with her so I think it'll be excuse me okay in the end um, 
but yeah, I'm sort of, so I'm working with polymer clay, which has been a challenge because I don't normally work with polymer clay. I usually work with found objects, a little bit of polymer, polymer clay, but not totally like this piece so far has been. So, you know, there's a learning curve. And actually, I was having a conversation this morning with a lady who we were talking about art and artists and being an artist and the difficulty of calling oneself an artist as well as um, just the idea that you know allowing yourself to make mistakes and allowing your, that everything you do isn't going to be perfect and great and I've had this conversation lots of times with, with my buddy Laura as well because she has this you know well and, and a lot of people have it's not just her I don't, I'm not trying to single her out if, if a lot of people feel sort of this notion that well if I can't do it perfectly or if I can't do it well then you know I don't want to do it because it, it you know people will judge me who knows what they're thinking people will judge me I'll judge me um my work is you know that if if it's not absolutely wonderful every time then you know what's the point but I don't subscribe to that at all I I make a lot of mistakes I consistently will you know I throw things I've been doing this for like 25 30 years and I still will turn out something that is especially when it, it's new to me the thing you know that it, it's just not great and that's okay because how else are you going to learn if everything you did was perfect and great all the time like you'd never I don't think you'd expand I don't think you'd grow as an artist or as a person and you know the idea that everything should be perfect all the time is kind of a weird imposition that we put on ourselves which is completely unrealistic wholly unrealistic that you know at, at least for me anyways I absolutely start paintings over again start sculptures over again work and even if I've been working on it for a weeks if it's tanks and goes south you have to be willing to let that go and start again because that's just the nature of the beast I think I don't know that's my thinking um so on that note I'm gonna stop for now um I'll continue working on this sculpture eventually I will get to show you this sculpture and um that's it for now I guess <laughs>